What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. We finally made it. We are at our final destination in Alaska where we will be spending the entire rest of the summer. If you guys haven't seen my last two videos, click this right here and you can watch the last one and catch up on what's going on. Basically, the general gist of what is going on is myself, Sam, and my girlfriend, Lindsay, moved to Alaska for the summer, rented a house, and we're gonna stay here to create some content for you and hopefully catch some giant fish along the way. The first two videos that you guys saw, we were traveling, but this is the final day uh, where we finally made it and we just got settled into our place. And I kind of wanted to do a little house tour of uh, what we're gonna be living in the rest of the summer. And then as well, later today, we wanna try and go catch some fish. But guys, before we go any farther, I just wanna take a moment and thank the Guggen Squad for helping out today's video. Also helping us get up here, they're helping out pay for gas and other things that we buy throughout the summer. If you guys wanna check them out, they'll be linked down below. If you use our code Mindac, you guys can save some money at checkout, whether you guys get some clothes, some baits, some sunglasses, whatever you guys need, they got the hookup. But without further ado, let's begin the house tour. And bam, this is what the front looks like. So you guys saw this, we drove my truck up here and Sam actually got my grandparents' car that they're letting us use it for the summer. So he drove that up. So I think for the majority of the rest of the month, we're gonna have two cars, which is gonna be super key. And then this is the front of our house right here. As you can see, we're kinda in the middle of nowhere in like a little like cabin area. Um, looks very Alaska-y. We have one neighbor right here, which I have not met yet. And then our other neighbor, we have met there, Mark and Mike, and they're actually super nice. They actually kind of know the ropes around here a lot more. They even got a boat. So maybe one of these days we'll be going out with them, but they're really cool. And then, yeah, I have yet to meet these guys. But we're going to walk over here and, uh, bam, here is the front, okay? And then we have two seats that I set up, and I just kind of threw out the waiter shoes and the waiters, which are going to come in huge clutch throughout the summer. Um, over there, we got the two e-bikes, and... As a matter of fact, we actually had an incident which was off camera with that e-bike right there. As you can maybe tell, that handlebar is not looking very good and the, out, uh, the tire over there is popped. When we were driving here, uh, a freaking construction worker flagged us down and was like, hey, you're dragging a bike. So for a couple miles or something like that, one of the e-bikes actually fell off and we were just kind of dragging it. The tire is chowed, that needs to get replaced. And then the handlebar is not looking too good. If you touch it, you're gonna get cut. So eventually I need to bring that into the town here and get it kind of fixed up and all that good stuff. But if you guys were curious, we were spending the summer in Soldatna, Alaska. So if any of you guys live around the area and wanna take us out on a boat or got some cool fishing ideas for our videos this summer, drop a comment down below and we will try to make something happen. But let's go inside. And before we go inside, check this out. A Smoke sent me this. This is the A Smoke, I think like 350. And it's gonna be used throughout the summer to smoke stuff. We're gonna cook chicken on it tonight. Uh, probably some salmon if we ever catch any in that. And then our garbage is over there and just nothing crazy. But we're gonna go in here. Whoa! What's going on here? Nothing much hanging out in the new cabin. So we have made it inside the house here and let's just take a look around. As you can see, Lindsay's making herself at home. She's actually editing Mindac reels. So if you see reels on our Instagram page, it's Lindsay behind the scenes. So huge shout out to Lindsay for doing that. But this is the inside here, your little living room. We got a two bedrooms, a bathroom, and then over here is our kitchen. We'll kind of start over here. We got a laundry and a dryer. We got the old fridge here. We went to town and got a bunch of food and stuff. So look at that. We are freaking stocked up. Um, Literally got a whole thing of rum in a whole case. So shout out to my boy Nick from NBA. That's he'd appreciate that. That's the soy sauce one too, if you guys are curious. But we got a dishwasher, Keurig. We had to get this toaster, uh, big old sink right there, and cabinets and nothing too crazy over there. And then you guys saw this a little bit already, but we got a table, coffee table, two couches, and then if guests come throughout the summer. We have cots that we're gonna set up right here so we could sleep like two or three people. Uh, we got a little gaming station because you know I'm a big gamer. And then right here is my editing station and uh, I'll be cooking up the saucy edits. We got a nice TV here. And then we walk over here and this is Slayman's room. 
Why do you have a gun on you? Stay fair, bro. What up, Slay Daddy? What up, boy? You made it, brother. Yeah, brother. You pumped to be in Alaska? I am. Look at this lovely view, though. Sheesh. Ain't that pretty? I get to wake up to that every morning. That's pretty cool. Or you look out the window and it's like actually yeah, Alaska. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I mean, it's not as cool, but that's, yeah, that's a general gist. But this is Sam's bedroom. Nice bed here. The, actually, the beds are freaking comfy. Memory foam, It's man. like, yeah, nice that's memory nice. foam. We got his little greeble closet full of greeble things there. Oh, yeah, bed. And then, if you guys were curious, yeah, we, our grandparents are letting us uh, borrow a gun for the summer. It's not loaded right now. Um, but in case of, like, bears and stuff like that, it's good to have that to stay strapped, as Sam was saying. Yep. yep. What's over here? Uh, the flossing rods. Oh, we got oh. hella rods. Yeah, yeah. And the Googans. As I mentioned them, they got the Googan rods. They're going to come in handy this trip. Um, These blinds come in clutch, though. Like, it gets black in here. But as you guys know, it doesn't get dark out for that long and not very dark. So these blinds definitely do come in clutch. But if it was like this and there are no blinds, it kind of sucked to sleep. So. Yeah. Shout out to the blinds. Then we'll walk over here real quick. This is me and Lindsay's room. Pretty nice. Same thing as Sam's room. Uh, you know, same all. We got the thing full here. Nice view. And then over yonder, we got the bathroom. Pretty actually bougie bathroom. It's nicer than ours in friggin' Fargo, it seems like. Oh, and if you guys are also curious, yeah, you guys have seen this in the last couple videos. I just have not addressed it. I have a mullet. It's not where I want it to be yet, but eventually, maybe by the end of the summer, it'd be a lot better. Well, guys, that is pretty much the whole tour of our cabin. It's not like anything giant, but it's going to do fine. I mean, we're only here for about two months, and for our time here, I think it's going to be actually perfect. Um, throughout the summer, we're going to have some guests here, which you guys will definitely recognize them. I'm going to keep that a secret. But we'll have guests coming in and out of the vlogs throughout the summer. And uh, we actually made a couple buddies here already that are going to be huge, huge key factors uh, to the channel. Which you're actually going to meet two of them tonight. We're going to go fishing and I believe try to catch something. Because like I said, I've been cooped up in a car for the last three days. Sam, he hasn't caught an Alaska fish since last year. So we're itching to get on something. And in about three to four, probably three-ish hours or so, we're going to go out and try to catch something. So... I'll catch up with you guys before we do that. And yeah, it feels great that we finally made it. Well, as you can see, we got the old extra tough song because we're about to do some extra tough stuff. Lindsay, oh, you, you got yours on too. Mine are a little more uh, fresh and clean than John's, but I need to weather them and Sam, you ready for this uh, mission that we're about oh, to do? Oh yeah, look at that. Did you see that view? Oh yeah. It's beautiful. So, you want to explain to the folks what we're doing right now? Well, I don't really know what we're doing, but we're parked. And it uh, looks like we're going to go after some sharks. So we got the big beefcake rods. We got the bait, nice and shiny heron. Hopefully we can catch some fish. So we just made it to the beach and we're going to be fishing the ocean today. Uh, we're going to try going after some sharks and or halibut and or whatever bites. So whatever happens, happens here. We actually met up with one of our buddies that you guys will remember from last year and he's gonna show us all the ropes. So he's gonna be one of the guys I was talking about earlier that's gonna be a huge main character in all these vlogs because he is a seasons vet and me and Sam and Lindsay are noobs. Mr. Jacob Keels. What's up, guys? Oh, what's up? That's the right there, King Salmon. That, wait, wait, that's King Salmon? Yeah. Boy, just let me eat that then. No, it's old. It's old? It's old, yeah. Okay, so it's that's the bait like, for today. It's probably like two and a half years old. Two and a half years old? Yeah. Oh, so it's gonna be good bait for whatever. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. All right, so we got my boy Jacob here. Uh, we already get it. We talked you up a lot. So him and another buddy, which maybe you'll see later in the vlog or some point in time, Jaden, uh, they're gonna be showing us the ropes this summer. So get used to their faces. Yes, sir. Well, we're on the beach here. I bet you guys didn't think this is the type of beach when I said beach. But this is what you get in Alaska. Uh, right now we're putting herring on this chungus rod. And uh, we got big hook, big leader, big weight, big rod. Hopefully to catch some big fish. And uh, I think we're gonna use herring on one of these rods and probably some king salmon on the other rods, but mm -hmm. 
This is pretty much ready to go now, right? Yeah, I would just hunk that thing as far as you can. All right, so back up, Lindsay. I'm about to chuck this thing. Oh, boy. All right, boys, welcome to Alaska. <laughs> I don't want to hook you, brother. I believe in you. Uh, this weight's just too big. We need a little size down. All right, so I want to apologize in advance. The wind's probably going to be a little bit brutal today, brutal. but we have uh, all four lines out right now, and now we just sit down in our chairs and chill. Uh, the only thing that'll make this better is the Corona and the lime, but we're just going to hang out here, see if we can get something bit. Much, much later. What's going on? Well, I just had a big ass bite, bro. This thing was like, this thing almost. Blew the chair over, bro. Uh, it dropped it at the moment, but I'm just gonna hold it. Maybe it pulled some slack. The weight's so heavy, it's like hard to tell. So I'm just gonna give her a good pull. I don't know. This weight is so heavy, bro. Look at that. That weight is a kegger. Oh, ugh. rip. Nothing. Nothing but a tangle. They murked that stuff. This thing was a whole salmon fillet basically and well something chomped on it. Yeah, something small. Probably a little flounder. Well, no luck so far. I think the plan is uh, since we haven't gotten very many bites, I think we're gonna pack up and go try a lake. Uh, try for some rainbows, dollies, maybe some kokanees or whatever bites honestly. So we're gonna leave the beach right now. We had a fun time. And hopefully by the end of tonight, we can get something down. Well, not down on the ground. I don't know why I said that, but up above the water. All right, guys, we have made it to the next spot and we're fishing a lot different spot than you guys just saw us at. We were at the ocean earlier, but now we're at a tiny little lake and we're gonna try doing some fishing for some rainbows, dollies, or like the kokanee salmon or something like that. That's doubtful, but you know, anything that bites would be really cool. We got us uh, four out here, as you guys saw earlier, and then Jaden will be meeting up with us in a little bit, and you guys see him uh, in a second. But we're gonna start fishing, and hopefully we can catch something. All right, this food decided to show up. Look at me, boy. <laughs> this is Jaden, and he brought out some freaking bait. He's got a chunky rod on right now, and there's some chunky fish out there. So you need to show the folks what's up, all right? Are you actually gonna get smacked, you think? Yes, bro, watch. It's gonna, it's gonna drain in like eight seconds. No, nah, you're catfish. All right, Sam, you need to show me something here. Damn, bro. Maybe I should let him take it away. You should let him gnaw on it a little longer, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. No, oh, I thought he came off. I also thought he came off. Oh my gosh, Sam is cracked. All right, Sam, what did you just catch? A little king salmon, bro, landlocked. A landlocked yeah. king salmon? That's lit, brother. Not a beautiful release, but it's a release, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother, let's go. All right, guys, well, we finally caught our first freaking fish here. It was like a tiny king salmon, is that what it was? Yeah, tiny king, landlocked one. So that is freaking flames, but we're gonna see if we can catch a couple more. This is pretty fun. Okay, he's got it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fellas. Big boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> let me, oh, let me actually wet my, my hands first. <sighs> this is a little rainbow? Yeah. Hey, fellas, I'm straight cracked out here. They must have just stalked this kill. Let's go. All right, little guy's going back. <sighs> See ya. Watch off the top there. I know. Yep. Do a little side, little side thing. Yes, sir. That will probably. Oh. oh did we'll I? see. Yeah. Something just bit you. Just let no, it you just let it sit there. Yeah. All right. Oh. All right. Try setting the hook. Try setting the hook. The one I just had on was Wait. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Lindsay's cracked. <laughs> so small. Wait. That's that's small. I think that's average size, guys, right? Shut up. <laughs> All right, Lindsay caught a rainbow trout. First ever Alaska fish. All right. Oh, yep. 
Bye, there he buddy. goes. Lindsay, give me some fist bumps. Let's go. First ever Alaska fish. Oh my gosh, there's like 500 on me. <laughs> there. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh that's a nice oh. one. Nicer, yeah, dude. Nicer. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's a freaking tank. Dude, you sure that's a fish, dude? I think that thing's bad. Hey, yo, chill. Oh, that's a tank, too. All right, caught my first ever kokanee salmon. We're gonna get it back in the water, though. <laughs> my boy Keels has to catch one for the video. Hey, yo. Let's go, boy. My boy Keels out here. Putting us on them. That's a so that's a kokanee salmon, but like a landlocked king, right? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Hey. hey, Daddy Keels, you're a beast, dude. Oh yeah. Sam, what did you feel about your first fishing day in Alaska? Oh, I had a blast. Huge shout out to the boys, Jaden and Jacob, for showing oh, us yeah. around again. They're, and they're, they're, you guys are they're probably going to be seeing a lot uh, this summer in the videos, oh, so yeah. better get used to these homies. Homie. Well, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys stick around for our later adventures. we got some stuff planned. Make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button, and if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys like today's content, because we're going to be doing a lot of this stuff, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.